I want to continue to explore the potential of uh, these remarks in Psalm 12. Um, you see, because it's so important. Um, so, um, see, it then says, you know, come to save us, son. And, uh, because, you know, everything is, nobody can trust anybody. Everybody's out for themselves. And, uh, and so, and so the psalm says then, and so what do they do? They say, we're heroes with our tongues. That's the NAB. Um, and this other one here, um, will our tongue, we will prevail our lips with us, so who is our master? It's all going to be on the gift of Gab. Think fast, talk fast, calculate your interlocutor, pay no attention to truth. Well, it's a lot of people do that. We do it once in a while ourselves. That's the problem. And this psalm is a meditation on the evil of that falsehood of that uh, non-truth. Um, and starting then with verse 5, uh, we have this notion, we are heroes with our tongues. That's a pretty good translation. Um, we're gibor. Um, and who is going to be Adon Lanu? Who is going to rule over us? Um, who is Lord over us? Yeah, that's what they say. We're big shots, don't you understand? We talk fast. We can get around anything. The total corruption of speech. And when that goes in a society, everything goes. That's why we have to be so careful with the media. And I just got a book today, uh, about corruption in the government. Oh, my Lord. Where are the just men? Where are the ones who speak the truth? You see, that's what this psalm is saying uh, so far. You see. Uh, and now, because they rob the afflicted and the needy sigh, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will grant safety to him who longs for it. That's a good translation, actually, for that line. Um, and so, uh, I will give them, you know, the safety. Uh, and the poor, and the evionim, and uh, so forth. I sheep kinyashi. It's enough of that. I think we'll go on to the next line. Now, but there's one person you can always trust. One person whose word is always sure and unshakable. And that person is, of course, God. So starting with verse 7, uh, Amarot Adonai, Amarot uh, Taharot, the, uh, the words, the Amarot from Amar, to say, the, the Amarot of Adonai, they are pure. There's no mixture in God's words to us. We can trust Him when He says, I love you. We can trust Him when He says, turn your life over to me, and I will bless you and protect you. You see? They, they are uh, Kesev, they're, they're, they're uh, silver, has been tried uh, seven times, uh, refined several times. And then, so you see, you, Lord, uh, you keep those who uh, uh, preserve us always from this generation. While about us the wicked strut and in high places 
are the basest of men. I don't know why, but I think of that book that I'm starting to read. I don't know how much I'm going to get done or whether I want to. But it's all about this very thing, corruption, lying, stealing, self-centered, until the whole thing crashes. And here I live just outside Washington, D.C., which is, for this part of the world, the champion. You go to any world capital, you get the same kind of thing. There's no truth in it. You see, the word truth comes from uh, aman, which means to be solid, to not be movable. Uh, if you say it's going to rain tomorrow and the other guy says, Behemet? Really? See, is it true? Is it solid what you're saying? And this psalm is all about it's not the case. It's not the case. Uh, and so, uh, the promises of the Lord are promises that are pure. Now, that's the translation of that line that I just read for you. And it's not a bad translation um, about uh, this world, okay? And it goes on. Silver refined in a furnace on the ground, justified, purified rather, uh, seven times. You see? And that's verse 6. And it goes on then, uh, because the poor are despoiled, because the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord, and I will place him in the safety for which he longed. I'll take care of the poor. Since you won't, you just lie and steal and take whatever they have. I'll step in. I'll take care of the poor. And I will place him in the safety for which he longs. And then starts this description of the Lord's uh, text, you see. Uh, Ashish, you see. Amarot Adonai, Adarot Taharot. The words of Adonai are words that are pure. Silver, seven times removed. Uh, re, uh, refined, you see, uh, in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. You can trust God's word. When God speaks, all his unsullied, beautiful, lightsome truth is there. When you hear him say in your heart, I love you, believe it. It'll change you. Because if God loves you, then you want to respond. Well, you can truly, you can really believe that. Because that's who he is. You see? And so, the promises of the Lord are true. Justification, as Paul sees it, is what? It's believing the promise of salvation wrought by the cross and the blood of Christ. You see? Um, and then silver, you see, refined. It's beautiful. Pure silver, have you ever seen it? It glows. It, it reflects light. And then finally, O oh Lord, protect us, okay? Uh, forever, from this generation. On every side, the wicked prowl as silence is exalted among the sons of men. And as I say, I've just started this book. I've even forgotten the title. It's got corruption in the title, I think. Can you imagine living that way? Everybody lying, everybody promising, not going to come through unless it's to their own advantage. Nobody willing to care about anybody else. That, you see, is how this whole thing starts. Uh... Hoshia Adonai ki gamar chasid because there's no more chasid no more just just man reliable man there's no more truthful man in the in the world you can't trust that is the end of society and that's why in any group 
in any nation, in any community, in any parish. If you want it to be stable and fruitful and life-giving, it has to be a place where truth is spoken. Where truth is spoken. And uh, you see, not this heart and heart, acting like you're really speaking from your heart, and you're not. You're speaking from your false heart. Lev, v'lev, yudaberu. You see why this psalm is so important in its own way. Um, It's a lament. Oh Lord, help us. We're liars, we're cheaters. Nobody can relax. And then, Lord, you are our friend and you always speak the truth. Teach us to be friends to one another, to be reliable with one another. Remember, the word for believe, hahamim, means to make somebody reliable, to lean over on them and make them reliable. And Abraham believed God, and that was credited to him as righteousness. Believe God. He never lies. He's got no angles. Believe him. And then try to imitate him. You have no lies. You have no agenda. You have no tricky stuff going on, you see. And then people are at ease around you, you see. And that's why the rest of the, 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 the we finished the psalm, but that part of the psalm, you see. Uh, May the Lord destroy all smooth lips, every boastful tongue. We are heroes with our tongues. Our lips are our own. That's the uh, NAV, uh, the RSV. Uh, same kind of thing. Uh, is, uh, may the Lord cut out. Uh, we, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are with us. Who is our master? We can talk out of anything. We can persuade people. We can fool people. We can cheat people. It's all on falsehood. The words of the Lord? No. Those are sil- silver Seven times refined. You can trust those words. So what has the Lord said? He said, I love you. I died for you. I want you to believe me and obey me. Come to me and listen to me. And I will bring you to eternal life forever. Believe me. And that's why the words of the Lord are seven times refined. They're pure silver. There's nothing there but that. And you can believe that. And that is uh, this short but powerful psalm on the difference between our lev and God's lev. And between the two is the lev of Jesus Christ, the sacred heart. And if we learn to relate to him and receive from him mercy and encouragement our hearts will be purified we won't need to lie we won't need to boast we won't need to put on a false front because we are backed up by the presence of the Lord Jesus who is saying I love you and that's no lie